Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're going to be discussing just how important it is for the people that protect a society need to be well trained mentally, physically, and in my opinion, they should be at the athletic level of almost like Olympic athletes or elite level athletes because this video shows exactly that. So I'm going to share with you something that Tom Dublas shared on his Instagram and he was talking about, you know, it's pathetic and I tend to agree with him and how they should be well trained uh, in order to really protect. It's the same for a father or a parent looking to protect their family. You cannot protect and serve without be fully fit uh, to do it. Many talk about the lack of training and the very little hours. And also I'm going to talk about my anecdote with the policemen and police women that I know from across the world and their training. So let's take a look at the video first. So here you see the guy gets into a full kesagatami. Kesagatami in many ways, it's very organic yet at the same time, it has many variations and I'll show them with you in a, in a bit. But it's very organic and it's very tough to get out of, especially when the pressure is very well done. So here you see two more officers laying their hand, trying to control. It looks incredibly weak. Now I understand uh, in today's age, there's a lot of pressure and they don't want to do something, especially if it's caught on camera. But at the same time, good control and safe control is where it's at. And from that, you need proper training. I'm just going to let this Kodokan excerpt of Hon Kesa and Kuzure Kesa uh, Katame play and you can see all the various variations that you can do with uh, Kesa Katame. So as I was saying, if there is no uh, proper training, so many things can go wrong. I don't care which country, I don't care which ethnicity, I don't care about the system and who owns it, none of that. When there is lack of training, you cannot protect and you cannot control a situation and something is going to go wrong. You might get desperate, you might get scared and use that belt, whatever is on that belt. And from there, a tragedy can happen. Or uh, you cannot save the proper way or saving a victim in the proper way. And then someone else is going to get hurt. Someone else is going to get uh, killed or, you know, nobody has to live with that. And it's all due to proper training. Uh, sometimes deaths occurred because you know, criminals are out there, but proper training is where it's at. And, and like I said, in my opinion, they should be like almost Olympic level athletes, Olympic level athletes with all due respect, all this attention and all these victories are just for them. They collect the medal, they collect the money. Some do work in charities, sure, they use their name, etc. But so many, they just take the victory and take everything for themselves while the policemen and women and law enforcement it's dedicated for their society, it's dedicated for their country, and it's to protect them. So we actually need to have like the elite level athletes in this actual um, profession, or at least this, you know, physical fitness, it should be there because, you know, it's on you to protect. If you cannot protect that, you cannot do that job. And a lot of things uh, can go wrong. So um, I know many policemen and women, and they do judo and jujitsu on the side. Um, many of them, even they work in uh, like prison officers and they do their uh, jujitsu on the side, they compete. Uh, and when I ask them about their training in the academy, they say there's none of that. They do their uh, training voluntarily and on the side because it's fun and at the same time it helps with their job. And also the same, um, in Europe, uh, when I was in jiu-jitsu class years ago, there were many uh, guys and women in the army and also in the police force. Now here in Japan, um, I met an Osaka policeman. We did randori. We started talking. Um, he's actually third dan uh, judo and second dan kendo. And it is crucial and imperative for them to train martial arts as it should be. It's not about just physical training. And also it's about... You know, everyone talks about the confidence and, you know, how their character became so much better after training. And we do need that when it comes to the people that are protecting and keeping the society safe because not everything is just, you know, physical dominance and, you know, pinning someone and handcuffing them. Sometimes all you need is a strong presence and very carefully chosen words 
and from there the situation is just simply dismantled um by the way in the past um oshiro kesa did not exist they would call it just uh, kuzure kesa and even back in the jigoro kano days everything was kesa ketame due to the position of how you you know lay your ribs and your lats on them for pressure and also the position of your legs so wherever you happen to be compared to the body it's just considered kesa ketame so uh he's, he also shared this i'm talking about tom and uh this is a policeman who is actually um trained of course tasers and um people who tend to get violent they need to be obviously neutralized but i saw this uh, one thing that actually um made me a little bit concerned that for example here if you are using live ammunition and you're using your legs this open guard isn't there like a hazard to either tase yourself or shoot yourself in the feet or toes maybe i'm wrong i don't know but here against this gun here it's it's brilliant how you put this huge shield of legs and even if they do slice your quads um it's not a very lethal one maybe i again i don't know but it's very surprising for someone if they're coming at you with a knife then suddenly the level change it's kind of like getting hit with a drop seyo nage or a drop kataguruma it's all you know you lose everything basically and you're just um uh, surprised so um this is mainly um the idea proper training is where it's at both you know communication psychology and physical training grappling is crucial and very important you don't you don't want to see an officer striking someone down as they are on the ground trying to detain them and control them so grappling is where it's at uh weapons i, I don't know uh, but something as effective as judo jujitsu sambo uh, is very crucial for these things because like i said if you are not physically fit you cannot protect you cannot serve it's that simple now what's going on after that each case by case is different uh nuances gray i'm not gonna get into that but the problem remains the same so many things can go wrong when there's lack of training and these people they should be like olympic level athletes because you have you need the best to protect your society it's that simple the same for the army so um let me know what you think of both the Kesagatame video and the um, police officer kind of like pulling guard with his gun uh, in the uh, comments down below. And please, uh, this isn't about, you know, this group against this group or, you know, uh, institutionalizing something to keep someone down. It's not that. It's about all the countries in the world. They all need good, physically fit, able-bodied law enforcement in order to make this society a lot more safer for you and your family and your friends and everyone that you know so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below this was shady and as always thank you for listening